Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Durkin Battle video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the, well, new batch of EZAs for quite a few units in relation to the Battle of the Gods movie. So these are a couple of general banner EZAs that have kind of all been lumped together under the Divine Battle Edition. And all of these units have something to do with the Battle of the Gods movie, which, for some of you who don't know, was actually the one of the earlier celebrations. I believe Resurrection F was the first big celebration in Dokkan Battle, but Battle of the Gods was obviously one of the earlier biggest celebrations. So we've got quite a few easy A's here. We've got Entwees, we have Tech Wees, we have Strength, Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Bulma. We have the Int God Goku, and we also have the Int Beerus. Now each of these units is respectfully pretty decent. I think they get a lot of flack. Uh, people seem to kind of think they're mediocre, but I think they each have a decent role. I do think a lot of them are mainly you know, ESBR and SBR related. I don't think a lot of them are... You know, technically red zone ready units or anything like that but i think overall they do look like a decent collection of units and i think it's worth your time to easy air them especially if you've got a couple dupes in them i think most long-term players will have these guys pretty much all of these guys at rainbow or you know two out of ten or um oh sorry two out of ten uh rainbow or two dupes or higher uh, so I think, you know, there should be, like, a general consensus that most people have them rainbow. Obviously, uh, for some of them, they're less of a buff than others, but they all look pretty interesting in principle. And we'll take a look and kind of discuss them, obviously, just now. The event itself is weak to Realm of the Gods category characters, and the event will change units, will cycle through units, uh, every six or seven stages roughly now int sorry tech type god units uh, or realm of the gods units will fall off uh, due to the fact that the last two phases against int beerus and int god goku uh, nullify the tech type advantage but i believe that is the only type nullification that occurs in the event so yeah i think in general we should be pretty good you also receive uh, a couple Kai's of each type, uh, which is obviously pretty decent. And you'll receive one Dragonstone per stage as per the normal, you know, Extreme Z Battle guidelines. There are also some missions, uh, very similar to some of the other, you know, Destiny, Rival, Saga type of Extreme Z Battles, where awakening each type of unit will essentially give you a stone and some zeni back not to mention as well but this event is permanent so you shouldn't have any major issues uh, you can come back to this event at any given time we're going to be using an entirely free to play team because you can mainly no other specific reason why uh, but yeah basically we're using an entirely free to play team because we pretty much can use an entire free to play team and this team will be consistent the entire way throughout. Right. The only really Jeez. difficult part of this will be Extreme Z Awakening, the Vegito Blue. Uh, but this shouldn't be anything. You basically Let's just have to finish quest mode to get Easy Air Vegito Blue, which honestly speaking shouldn't be that tough uh, for most players. But yeah, that is uh, basically it. Uh, obviously, you know, in terms of our team build, Nothing too crazy to mention, uh, we have the Strength Super Saiyan Blue Vegito Alarm, he's going to be our lead, 130% super class lead, which is obviously super duper helpful. We then have the Tech Supreme Kai, who's a great unit who can sit in the first slot, because he has guard, and will raise the attack and defense of our allies on the super. We have Ageo Whis from the Hero Extermination event, he's just pretty good defensively and brings a heal. We have the two Broly movie units in the form of Tech Vegeta and AGL Goku. 
And then we also have the physical UI Goku, who's obviously going to be, yeah, he's going to be pretty helpful. Uh, I would wager he will be pretty right, solid uh, overall. And yeah, in general, I think the team is pretty straightforward. I don't think there's anything too crazy. As a friendly, we will be taking the uh, Int God Duo, just because they tend to do decently. Uh, they also obviously a pretty good lead. They cover some of our other units with uh, some additional stats. And I think they are the best Realm of the Gods lead, uh, I believe. And we have no special requirements like needing legendary power uh, or anything like that. So yeah, I think in general the team is pretty self-explanatory. I don't think players will uh, you know, need to do any wild team building or anything. Uh, just make sure Supreme Kai is in slot 1 uh, when you get near the end. And obviously push the tech Vegeta uh, off rotation. But yeah, that's basically it. Then, you know, obviously uh, to kind of talk a little bit about each of the units. So we have the Int Whis and the Tech Whis. Uh, Int Whis looks interesting. He's obviously providing a lot of support to the rotation, uh, which is pretty cool. And all allies support plus 10% for um, the Gods allies. Looks like he could be a good pairing partner for the Strength, Beerus, and Whis combo card. Then we have the Tech Whis, also a pretty decent card, but a little bit more dependent on having uh, Bond the Master and Disciple based units in, in his rotation. Both Whis units look pretty good from the perspective of they bring a lot of utility to the teams, uh, and both of them kind of have a Bond the Master and Disciple slash Realm of the Gods kind of. Uh, mechanic going on there which is a little bit interesting uh, they definitely aren't first slot units as both of them gain attack and defense on super uh, so yeah very substantially good support slash floating support uh, kind of units then we obviously have the strength super Saiyan 2 vegeta uh, really really good units obviously his big thing is he's with Bulma so this counts in two ways one, this gives a Bulma unit that allows you to fully activate the passive of some Vegeta units, uh, most notably AGL, Ella, Marge, and Vegeta. Secondly, uh, what it also does is it allows you, or limits his categories, I should say. So he's not on a lot of categories because he's not a pure Saiyan, he's not anything like that. Uh, but he is on Vegeta's family, and he's pretty good. 40% uh, reduction to normals, which is really, really solid. His rage mode is there, he counters, uh, and he's got, you know, attack and defense. He gains defense after being hit. So yeah, he looks pretty good. I think he's definitely more a defensive situation unit. Yes, he's not going to be super strong against super attacks, but I think right now he can tank pretty much every normal in the game, which is pretty solid if you ask me. Then we have the two final units. We have Int Beerus and we have Int God Goku. Uh, Int God Goku looks decent. Uh, nothing too special I would say about him. I think he's just a solid unit. He's not even really got that much in common with the physical God Goku. Which is a bit weird. I thought they would kind of build him the right, same. You know, like this. give him a chance to guard or something like that. Uh, but yeah. He still looks like a decent unit. Uh, I don't think he's a direct like-for-like -like replacement for Physical Guard Goku, um, but kind of similar, I guess, to the Int Kid Goku for the Physical Kid Goku, in that they have some kind of viability together. Then we have Int Beerus. Obviously, the big thing about Int Beerus is the change to his uh, leader skill, which obviously is a nuking lead. So that's going to be able to help you out if you're looking to take on and finish some of the nuking challenges. And then you also have, of course, his change to his passive, which isn't huge, I want to say. Uh, well, when I say huge, I mean they're all very big changes uh, to their existing passives, kind of bring them in line. But Beerus feels a little bit more uh, SBR and ESBR related. Whenever someone's got a passive that's dependent on attack down and defense down, this almost like 
exclusively places him in the ESBR SBR bracket because you can't really maintain attack down and defense down in like yeah you know, any kind of red zone basically so this almost exclusively kind of sticks him in the ESBR SBR bracket which isn't a terrible thing uh, but it is just yeah something to keep an eye on and that's it obviously we'll try to take a look at as many of them as possible i'm a bit low on kai's so i think we'll probably look at vegeta and the two reese units i can guarantee and then maybe one of int Beerus or int god goku because like i said i'm kind of low on kai's and there's not that many to farm right now uh, i think there's two to farm from the uh, pudding event and that's kind of it so yeah there's not there's not too many to farm right now but with that being said uh it wasn't that bad in the extreme easy battle uh the last fights could take a little bit of time with the free to play team but in general you should be fine uh even if you use the free to play team but generally don't but that's gonna be it for me bye